I first met Alan when he was living in a care home in the Birmingham area. I was tasked with going out to review his care to see if there was anything that we could do to improve his quality of life. We developed a good relationship and established some good rapport and I think I created a space for him where he felt comfortable talking to me about the issues he currently faced. Alan told me that he was doing well for the most part but during part of our discussions he disclosed to me that his son had pressured him and asked him for money. I think we always need to be mindful of the needs of people with a dementia and that they may not always be in a position to successfully protect themselves from abuse. Following my visit with Alan, I spoke to my colleagues in the Finance Department of Birmingham City Council and they informed me that Alan actually owed some money and he was accruing quite a bit of debt. I went back out to see Alan. I told him that he was in debt to the council. He was visibly shocked, he was very upset, but Alan wanted to get a better understanding of his finances. They seemed to have been managed at a distance by his son. So myself and Alan, we worked together to write a letter to the bank requesting that the bank statements be sent to him and together we went through those bank statements and we identified that his son was spending Alan's money like it was his own. Alan was really upset and distressed when he saw this and he wanted something done about it. He wanted to safeguard his finances but he didn't want any action to be taken that would disrupt his relationship with his son. Following my capacity assessment, it was determined that Alan wasn't able to make decisions about his financial arrangements and as such, we decided to hold a best interest meeting to determine what would be the best way to help Alan manage his financial affairs. A decision was made to exclude Alan's son from this meeting as it was clear that he was not acting in his father's best interest. Present were myself, Alan, some care staff from the care home and Alan's advocate. He was there to represent Alan during the meeting ensure that his wishes and views were heard. Alan was always at the centre of any decisions made in relation to the safeguarding process. And adult safeguarding isn't about removing risks entirely for that person, but helping that person to understand the risks that may be posed to them and supporting them to make decisions about those risks wherever possible. If you're concerned about an adult who may be experiencing abuse, have a conversation with that individual, explore those concerns with them and help them to take action if they believe that they need some additional support with safeguarding themselves.